hello everyone so today we are going to see how to give the how to get this highlighting effect when the character is in the range that we can collect this item when the character leaves this uh, leave the range the highlighting effect is gone and that happens for all the objects like this so right let's see how to do that today and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support okay so at the moment what happens is when I go near some object I get this press C to collect this stone so yeah of course that could be overwhelming overwhelming or too much at some point like let's say we have a number of collectible items so showing press C to collect press C to collect could be a problem so what I want to do is like giving some highlight effect to this object when uh, I am when the character is in the range that it can collect it right so actually I have used the same material and created the a child materials for all these objects all these collectible objects this material is in color it's just some colored object and it has this uh, I also this is <laughs> the actually material it has the color in the connect to the base color and MSU color MSU output also connected also I have this MSU multiplier so what I want to do is when I go near we need to have some kind of a uh, highlighting effect okay so how can we get you do something like that mm -hmm. right so we have the time input and also we have texture coordinate input as well then if I connect the time into a sign so according to the time i will get a value as the time changes i will get a value uh, a change in value in between 0 and 1 and if i add the time to the texture coordinate it will give a range in value between sorry not 0 and 1 minus 1 and 1 and also it will be changed based on the location of the object so if I connect it like this and multiply this MCU multiplier here yeah, oh we have an error because arithmetic between type float 3 and float 2 1 defined yeah this is a float 2 so let me add a component mask here I will get only the R that means only one dimension of the texture coordinate see now we have some kind of uh, illumination going on so if i apply this effect you see we can see this illuminating effect here it is kind of a cool so it yeah it gives us the feeling like this is something we can interact with so this should only start to highlight only when the character is in the range not characters when in the uh, when the character is not in the range it should look as usual so how to do that mm -hmm. uh, we can connect a lerp node here linear interpolate and to the a I'll set the A as 1 and to B our input I'll connect the result of this calculation and if I keep alpha as 0 it will have the normal color and if I make the alpha 1 it will have this highlighting effect going on so I'll promote this alpha 
একটু আমি এটা লেটস কল ইট হাইলাইট এন্ড ডিফল্ট ভ্যালিউ লেটস কিপ ইট অ্যাট জিরো রাইট নাও ইন দ্য ইন্টারাক্টেবল অবজেক্ট when yeah this is uh, so when the character enters this red uh, collider uh, that's when we detect some characters interacting and if that is the player we show the tip also here we can access the object mesh and set parameter set scalar parameter the parameter name should be highlight is this case sensitive anyway i have simple so let me copy it just to be sure i set the highlight to one uh, at the moment we don't have that highlight in effect uh, and when the character leaves it when we set the on component end overlap we can basically use the same thing and set the highlight parameter value to zero right now let's see and the character goes here see this object starts highlighting and when i leave it it stops the highlight effect same thing happens here and here and here if you want it to be more prominent what we can do is oh, we can add another multiply here Let's say highlight amount. Now highlight multiply. And if it is zero, nothing would happen. If I make it ten, we should have a higher highlight effect. See? That's more clear. okay now if you know if you don't need this collect um proceed to collect this stone uh, tip we can just disconnect this short tip not but i'm gonna keep that so if you want don't want it just disconnect it that's all so i'm gonna stop this episode right here and thanks for watching so as always freight files will be available for the download through patreon page link would be in the description below see you in another episode goodbye